Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Daniel McGuire here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the way that I was able to graduate from the University of California, Irvine within four years with a bachelor's of science in civil engineering, the lows, the highs, kind of what really had to go into it and what you should be able to expect if you really wanna graduate within four years with any real degree, because I know it is a lot more challenging to graduate within four years due to the impact of schedules, the amount of classes you're gonna to have to take, the rigidness of the courses, especially at a university like UCI. So with that, be sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, almost there to 250 subscribers. So if you wouldn't mind, again, smashing that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you haven't already to be notified for future uploads and let's get to it. So naturally, if you're gonna graduate within four years, you're gonna have to take a lot of your classes in a short amount of time. Now, I had to take at least four classes every single quarter up until my last quarter and it was just really rough. I know a few of the quarters I had to take five starting my third year and one quarter I had to take six my second year and that was obviously my lowest GPA quarter throughout all my quarters. It was really rough, it was a very tough schedule and it was just so much work, so much material I really had absorbed and I just really didn't feel that I had the amount of time, the amount of you know resources available to me at that point to where I could have been successful. I do regret taking that six class quarter because I think I could have moved it around a little bit more to make it a little easier on myself that quarter. That was the first quarter that I was commuting as well, so it made it a lot more challenging to really figure out how I was gonna do everything, how to study, and so on and so forth. But again, you're gonna have to take at least probably four classes every single quarter if you're coming in with you know very little AP credits or any other community college transfer credits. So again, touching on the community college transfer credits or AP credit that you get from high school, I came in with about 16 to 20 AP units and AP credits from my AP exams in high school. And I still had to take, I think, three classes at a community college. And again, all of those coupled with the fact that I still had to take four classes every quarter, it was really a lot of work. So definitely, you know, you're gonna have to come in and get ready to put in a lot of work. Maybe you go to a community college every summer to put in the amount of time that you can get for your units, or you come in with AP credit or transfer credit again. But really, you're gonna have to hit that unit count. And then when, even if you have the unit count, you still have to meet the minimum requirements for your specific major. So another thing to consider when you're coming in, deciding for your classes, deciding for your units, and if you should take other avenues for you know credits or units. So the next thing that I really did to graduate within four years was that I had a very tight-knit study group and you know networking with myself and other people that really benefited myself so that I could pass my harder classes, especially when I got into the latter part of my second year into my third year. I had a real study group that we would study. We would, you know, collect as many resources as we could to study for the midterms, for the finals. Everything that we could possibly do to study together, we did because again, some of the course load was very, very rigorous and it would have been a lot more challenging to just try and rely on my skills versus, you know, I understand a certain topic and I could help somebody else and they understand another topic that I really don't get and we kind of just fed off each other like that. That's one of the ways that I would suggest to you is to find a study group or you know a close-knit group of friends that you guys are willing to put in the time together and just learn together. And that's one of the best ways that you could possibly pass any of your classes is to just get a group and just put in the time and put in the effort together. So this next part really just you know was for me specific in that I really understood that I just wanted to pass the class at any given cost. So with that, it came at the sacrifice of my GPA to some extent. I've talked about this in prior videos as well, where my GPA wasn't the highest. I think it finished with exactly a 3.00. So it was very, very on the close edge. But again, I had a compromise for some of my finals and some of my classes where I knew I had an A secured in one class and I wouldn't study for the final at all. And then maybe went down to an A minus or another class I had like a B in and I didn't study for the final law because I had another final to study for where I had a C minus D plus in and then I brought that up to a C plus, but then my B went down to a C plus as well. So that was my trade off is that I really had to put in my point of emphasis on where I was struggling most. And if I felt that I could sacrifice studying or not studying for a particular final where I had a better grade in, that's what I would do and that's what I did do. So that, again, you can kind of take that with a grain of salt because would you rather have a higher A and you know a C or would you rather have two Bs? Again, it just plays into what you want, what you want to get out of it. That was my mentality when I went into my finals is sometimes I just had to bite the bullet, sacrifice it and not really study for a particular final or a midterm because I was studying for something else or doing another project or another report for another class. So this next one just is again, for me specifically, I felt that I had a chip on my shoulder. You know, I had a lot of people doubting me if I could do engineering in general, 
because again, I'm a first gen student. So a lot of people said, oh, engineering, that's a little bit tough. Are you sure you can even handle it? I heard that all throughout high school, even my first and second year. I doubted myself because of everybody that was kind of, you know, chiming in my ears and kind of just, you know, giving me these, you know, grains of salt of, um, you know, insults or kind of just demeaning. So that really put a chip on my shoulder and I really wanted to make sure that for myself, I was able to do it. So that really motivated me. And that was one of my key motivations was not only was I doing it for myself, but I was doing it to really quiet the people that really doubted me or said that I couldn't do it because I knew myself that I could and I did enjoy this subject to some extent that I was able to graduate again within four years. So this last one is again an emphasis on the prior point where not only did I want to graduate for myself, but really just to quiet the haters. I also wanted to start making income as fast as possible, which is why I decided to graduate in four years. Did all the sacrifices I had to do to again start my career and start making money, you know, to help out my family or to help out my parents. Really just something that I could go with. And that's one of the key motivating factors that I saw with it was being able to, you know, contribute to my family as quick as I possibly could, which is why I wanted to graduate as fast as I possibly could. So with that, be sure to leave a comment down below and make sure that if you have graduated within four years, how you did it, or if you took five years, or maybe you did it in three years, what was your secrets, what maybe took you longer, maybe it was a couple of GE courses here or there, a class that you might have failed, you know, and you had to redo it, set you back some. Be sure to leave it in the comment section, really try to, again, engage the community, grow the channel together. And with that, uh, thank you for watching.